Hello, Krista here, and welcome back to Burn Bright. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about Struck by Jennifer Bosworth. This is being published May 8th of 2012 by Farr, Strauss, and Gro. This story is about a girl named Mia who is addicted to being struck by lightning. She's got this keen sensibility to be able to track um, when she feels that a storm is coming on. She can feel it, the energy in her, the electricity starts building up inside of her. She's got scars all over her body from how many times that she has been struck by lightning. There are these, uh, it's described as like red veiny scars um, all over her whole body. Uh, her and her family are living in Los Angeles. There is currently a whole bunch of different kind of weather activity happening around the world. We're getting a lot of hurricanes and thunderstorms and earthquakes and volcanoes. Anything you can imagine is happening all over the world. And in their uh, part of the world, in California, they've just experienced a huge earthquake. Mother survived the earthquake, but she was found underneath rubble and it's been about a month now and she's still trying to she's still trying to heal from that experience. And uh, it's been about a month since the earthquake and now the schools are calling the children to come back to school and to organize a little bit. And if you do go back to school, you have the benefit of getting kind of like first dibs on the supplies that are being handed out and the, the rations. So her and her brother decide to go back to school. And upon their arrival back to school, there's a lot of chaos. Um, you know, the kids are there mo mostly to get the supplies and uh, have a free meal. They get free lunch, of course. Of course, only the basic classes are being taught. They're just trying to, um, you know, become organized and get the kids settled back in. So when they go back to school, one of the first things that Mia sees is that they have a group forming for those, the people that have been struck by lightning. People all over the country are experiencing this weather, and, and it's becoming quite common to be struck by lightning. Her and her brother decide to go ahead and attend this uh, group meeting. There's a girl at school, Katrina, who... Um, immediately takes on a liking to Mia. There is this boy, the mysterious boy that comes in, and she has this instant attraction to the boy who tells her to stay away from Katrina, that the group is bad, and this kind of gets Mia's um, curiosity going. So she wants to figure out what is going on with this group. And then the bigger plot of the story is really revolving around there has arisen a beacon of what people can uh, look up to, and he's the prophet, calling the people to him. He's built a tent out on the beach, and he has a, a television show that's going on, and people are, you know, drawing to him. And this particular prophet, when he does touch you, you do get healed. When he touches you, you do feel healed. You aren't feeling the pain or that depression that you were feeling before. You don't feel as helpless. It turns out to be a bigger picture. That this group forming in school of the um, survivors of lightning strikes, it's, it's, a big, it's a bigger, more intense, deeper story about this group forming and the prophets group forming and how there are four different kinds of things and uh, maybe the prophet isn't who he says he is and maybe this group of people aren't who they say that they are. Mia is kind of drawn into the middle of this uh, battle um, to save her mother, to save her family, and to possibly save the world. Even with the fact that there was insta-love in this book where Mia is immediately drawn to this boy before she even knows his name. She sees him, feels the connection, and that that connection really drives through a lot of the story and making of her decisions. And she doesn't even know the boy, but yet um, everything that he's connected to, she is drawn to. And that really does affect the story, as well as this whole battle between um, the, the prophet and the group forming um, that want to rise up against the prophet. I enjoyed the story because even though the, there was insta-love in the story that drove Mia to make all of her, most of her decisions anyway, um, she really does battle with the, the decisions of what should I do? Is this good or is this bad? What is good for 
the for, for me and for my family. And I really like the struggle that she has internally with this. It was a constant going back and forth of not knowing what to do and just getting drawn deeper and deeper into um, the situation. And I, I enjoyed the struggle that she went through. Towards the end of this story, I began to appreciate the attraction that she had to the boy. You know, as it developed and we got to learn more about him, um, as well what he brings to the story. It's above and beyond just saving uh, yourself or your friends. When it gets to the point where you really get to connect with the whole family structure and compare that to what's going on around you and then compare that into what's happening worldwide and that, you know, it's just one step to another to lead to like a big uh, result. I really appreciate stories like that and I thought it was great and I loved meeting all of her family and I thought they worked well together and they all played integral parts to the plot. It's a great paced novel. I mean just one thing after another and it just sucked me in. I really enjoyed it. I think that you guys will too and I thanks for watching guys uh, and I'll see you later. Bye.